This is Vanessa Joy Wedding and Portrait Photographer in the New York and New Jersey area and today we're talking about why you might want to shoot in high speed sync. So we have our gorgeous model Juliana here. She's hanging out looking amazing and we have a nice scene going on. I'm going to get my settings as if I don't have high speed sync and we'll see what we come up with. It's a super bright day so right away I'm a little nervous. Let's just take this off so you don't have to think I'm shooting with a flash yet. Not shooting with a flash right now. I am shooting with my um, 135mm 2.0. This is an EF lens, so I've got the Canon adapter here that works seamlessly with my mirrorless camera for the RF mount. I'm shooting with the Canon EOS R mirrorless camera. All right, so right off the bat, I'm all the way down at 100. Don't want to go any lower, so my option is to go higher on my aperture and when the sun comes out in a minute i'm at 200 which is as high as i can go for this camera without going into high speed sync all right so 7.1 is where i need to be in order to get the correct exposure for this scenario i've got a lot coming for you but first a little freebie download my free posing inspiration guide you can download it in the link in the description below let's just go ahead and take a shot and see what we've got. Perfect. All right, so I've got at 7.1, it looks okay, but the whole thing just looks a little bit dark, not quite the style I'm looking for. I really would like to take advantage of this lens and go all the way down to 2.0. But to do that, I have to raise my shutter speed because if I go all the way down to 2.0 with this, then we've got, perfect a super overblown over exposed photo. So I need high speed sync. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit high speed sync, raise my shutter speed and take another shot. That was at a thousand, let's try 1600. There we go. Now that's more what I'm looking for. Nice shallow depth of field, but I had to go all the way up to 1600 for it because of the conditions that I'm in. So let's take a few more shots now that I have the settings I want, thanks to high speed sync. Love it. Nice, and turn all the way towards me, like with your shoulders, yep. And then give your head a tilt that way. Nice, and drop your hand, just like let it hang. Drop your jaw for a couple. Yep. Here we go. One more. If you look at the two photos side by side, it's pretty easy to see what high speed sync allows you to do by raising the shutter speed and lowering the aperture. Look at the difference of the background between the two. If I'm forced to shoot at f7.1, I can see every little bit of the background and it's a bit distracting. But if I can use high speed sync, raise my shutter and then lower my aperture to where I want it to be, now I have a nice soft background and the focus goes straight to her eyes. Popping into Lightroom, I'm gonna edit some of my favorite photos. I messed around a little bit here adding some sun flare, but ended up taking it out later on because I didn't think it looked authentic. I'm using my Joyfully Simple preset. That's the one that I like that matches my style the best, but I do have a bunch of others here for you along with productivity tools that help you click buttons easily to adjust settings that you would typically use sliders for like contrast, exposure, saturation, and things like that. After I get the photo looking how I want, I head over to my local adjustment brushes. Now these are preset brushes that I have made myself, and yes, I do sell them. You can of course copy the settings if you want, you see them right here, or you can save yourself some time, head to the link below and grab these for yourself. I like doing things like smoothing out the skin, saturating the eyes, punching the lashes, and of course, reducing under eye circles. I don't do a lot of editing, but here's my before and afters. I did do a little bit of underexposing parts of her face to almost contour it a little bit. Again, I don't like doing a ton, but I do find a little bit of retouching goes a long way. 
So I hope this has given you a little bit of info on why high speed sync is advantageous. Oh, by the way, I was shooting with a Profoto B10, didn't tell you that. Uh, and also an OCF softbox that's a two foot octa. I'm Vanessa Joy, hit like, subscribe, download my free posing guide that is in the link below. Uh, share and do all the other things that get me all of you watching me. <laughs> I'll see you next time, bye.